Hello everyone and welcome to this week's review and today I'm going to be talking about Netflix's newest entry in the animation space, Arlo the Alligator Boy. Released on their platform last Friday, they appear to have quite a bit of confidence in this concept. This movie actually serves as an extended pilot for a series set to debut late this year, with Netflix already ordering 20 episodes. And based on the initial hour and a half presented here, I definitely look forward to what's to come. Arlo was created by Ryan Crego, who got his star as a storyboard artist at DreamWorks Animation on films like Kung Fu Panda 2 and Mr. Peabody and Sherman. And he was also a supervising director on several episodes of the Nickelodeon cartoon Sanjay and Craig. How does he fare with his own original idea and his feature directing debut? Really well, I have to say. Arlo the Alligator Boy has such a unique world and a really likable and endearing charm to it. From the beginning, I found myself already engaged in the story and the environments, and Arlo is someone you immediately want good things to happen to. He has an energy and an optimistic outlook that's really endearing, and it's clear Crego and the rest of the production team like him too. The humor also works, as it did not take me long to get into the jokes. The film knows how to use verbal jokes, as well as more physical cartoony gags. When he makes the journey to New York to meet his possible father, Arlo meets other characters along the way, and they become an enjoyable bunch too. I especially like seeing his friendship with a teenage girl named Bertie. Through them, we get the central theme that I'm sure will resonate with anyone who has felt like an outsider. No, Arlo the Alligator Boy is not the first animated film to have a believe-in-yourself message, but they tackle it with such warmth and loveliness. Their friendship does avoid some of the storytelling devices we might expect, though, and it's just neat to see two characters who form a connection like this and genuinely do care about one another and are happy to see each other. There is also a rat-type creature, a talking hairball, a fishman, and my personal favorite, a tiger girl, who joins them, and they're a likable bunch too. They don't get nearly as much focus as Arlo and Birdie, but since this is meant to introduce a series, that's somewhat forgivable. Arlo the Alligator Boy is also a musical, and the songs are really well written. They're catchy and also work in exploring the characters. The choreography on the character animation is superb too, and add to the vibrancy and energy of the numbers. In fact, let's talk about the animation and visual style of the film. Crego gives the movie a distinctive look, and each character manages to stand out. These are unique looking personalities, and I absolutely love the designs for everyone. The settings are great to take in too, as Arlo's swamp has an appropriately inviting quality, and New York looks fantastic. The Big Apple has been depicted often in animated films and shows, but the production designer still managed to make it unique to the world of Arlo. The use of color and lighting is excellent, and the animation on the characters summarily deserves praise. They move really nicely, and the more action-heavy scenes also succeed. Arlo the Alligator Boy is just another example of the amazing variety of animation styles that exist now. The story also goes down some unexpected paths, as I thought it would go in one direction, and Krugo instead takes it elsewhere. There are villains in the form of a few Animal Park employees trying to catch Arlo. They sporadically pop up from time to time, but only when needed, so they don't distract too much from the main plot. Overall, it really shows how Netflix is willing to invest in all kinds of animated productions. And while I could have also seen this airing on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon, I'm glad it's on Netflix, and they've allowed Ryan Crego to create the show he wants with his strange assortment of characters. I'm excited for the stories he will tell with these characters, as well as whichever new personalities will arrive to populate the series. Arlo the Alligator Boy is absolutely charming, funny, clever, and imaginative, and manages to work as a fun movie in addition to a very good jumping off point for future adventures. Give it a watch on Netflix, and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this week's review, and I'll see you next time.